I'm going to show you some of the sneak peeks from our December subscriptions that I will be shipping out next week. I already showed some of them in Instagram and an email and I have a couple more to reveal for this month's box that you'll get in the planner and stationery box and the deadline to subscribe is Monday at 10 a.m. Mountain time because I live in Utah which it's snowing outside. I'm very excited. Um, I love snow. I don't know how you guys feel about snow, uh, but it's my one of my favorite things about living in Utah, and I'm really excited that it's snowing here. So let me get this camera turned around, and I'll show you um, some things that are coming. Oh, so I'm going to show you two new sneak peeks for the planner and stationery box, and then I'm actually going to show you everything that's going to be in the pens. So if you don't want to see that, I will warn you and you can leave. Okay, just a sec, let me turn this around. Okay, so here's our first sneak peek because I forgot to move it out of the camera. But there's gonna be two, um, two vellum dashboards that you can layer together or separately. So this is the first one, it has soft mauve, purple tones on vellum so it's transparent and the second one has similar tones with some blues and dark purple and they layer beautifully together I just love the way they look together so you can layer them like this and you can still see the even the lighter one underneath and I'm going to show you how they look uh, in my planner but I wanted to do something that was a little bit, a little bit different, but still fit with our aesthetic. So this is the darker one, just to show you how it looks in the planner. Looks just like that. Still can see through it. And then I'll show you the other one. Josie, I'm so glad you like them. I love pink. And then, I don't know if you guys saw the Pantone color of the year was just announced today. And it's a periwinkle that is a little bit purple. It actually uh, reminds me of this color right here. And then this is the other dashboard layered over our dot grid paper. So you can see the tones are pretty, pretty mild. And I think that they'll still go nicely um with many setups but i wanted to just include something a little bit different and i think that they'll go really nicely with so these are the sticky notes that i sneak peeked already and i wanted to show you them in like in the video because i'll show you why i was so excited when i received these so i don't know if i can get it to show up but they're transparent Wow, they're transparent. And what I love about these is that there's like a really subtle, do you see that? It's like, I don't even want to say shimmer because it's not that extreme, but um, let me see if I can get, so if we put it on this dashboard, you can see that there's just some variation in the tone, I would say. And so when you, when you look at them, they're just so... Uh, I just think they're beautiful. Like seriously, it was gushing when I opened these. I felt kind of bad for my partner because I couldn't stop talking about them. And then I was like, oh, I should get on Instagram. And I know some people that might be interested in this. <laughs> so that's what they look like over the dashboard. And I show you on some plain paper too. So they're pretty, um, they're really nicely transparent. And then I wanted to tell you about, so I know, um, so we have a bunch of Unipin pens in stock. So I'm going to demonstrate um, how these write on the transparent sticky notes. And then I also wanted to show you how the ballpoint pen writes on it. So this is the Unipin pen. This is the size O2. It's their, the middle. I have O1, O3, and O2. Um, I haven't tried printing on these, but yeah, I have, um, 
I have similar ones that they print on really nicely, so I can try printing on these and show you how they look. Um, and then this is the uni pin pen. It dries really quickly and it writes really clearly on the sticky notes. If you want something a little bit um, less bold, I wanted to tell you guys about the uni SN80 ballpoint pen. It was in uh, one of our recent pens, pencils, and more collections. And I just want to show you guys how it writes on here also. So this is the uni SN80 ballpoint pen. And this is just because I actually like to put these types of sticky notes down uh, like in my planner and then I write on them like as if they're um, like then I can move them around and if it's too bold I don't I tend to find it really distracting so I wanted to just show you how the ballpoint pen writes on it really nicely it also doesn't need time to dry and it works um, really well so and that is a that's on our website too this pen right here all right, so I'm gonna show you uh, what's coming in the pens, pencils, and more. I have it all wrapped up right here. Um, so before I spoil your surprises, if you don't wanna see everything that's coming, I suggest you leave. <laughs> okay, um, so it's gonna, this is what uh, the collection looks like. There are um, gonna be variations in this pen and in this pen. And I know this one looks familiar, so let me explain what all of these are, because there's, there's no repeats. I'm just gonna pop these out of the packaging for us. And I know we all love a good pen test, so I'm gonna go through and show you how they all write. Hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Okay, so first to the one that looks familiar, just to the zebra blend which you guys know i'm a huge fan of this is one of their new colors this is the 0.7 so it's gonna be a different tip size um oh goodness well hopefully that did not make anybody nauseated to see all that so this is the and there's going to be different colors of this one that come in the oh that's not a uni pen this is the zebra the blend it's a ballpoint pen and it's a 0 0.7 millimeter tip. It's not super bold, but the I like the ink because it's pretty dark. What in the world? I'm sorry about that. Okay, and then let me show you, since it's a ballpoint, how it writes on here. This is the Zebra Blend ballpoint. This is just so nice. How smoothly it writes. On this sticky note they all have black ink the body color varies I'm like scared to bring it close to the camera because of the and then let's see how long this one is a little bit wetter of an ink but it's still oil based so really nice dry time on there and then that's what it looks like now that it's not moving the focus all right that's this one so I have included the 0.5 before and this is the 0.7. All right, and then we have um, the one that I already sneak peeked, which is the Shans Neutral Color Gel Pen. So the ink is black. Um, I realized that the last month didn't have a ton of black in it, so I wanted to include more black this month. So I just pulled off the wax tip. This is the, the Shans neutral color gel pen has black ink and a 0 0.5 millimeter tip it is a really nice black ink if you like the kokuyo mi gel pen you are gonna love this pen this has a needle tip um which i know a lot of us really like too here we go and it just looks gorgeous and has a really soft grip right there. So that's the, the one I sneak peeked already in the email. If you're on our email list, then you already knew about that one. And then I have another pen from Shans that is a clear body. I really wanted to include some pens that were both really nice, functional, but looked good in your planner as well. 
So this is the Shans. It's the, I don't know exactly what it's called. Sorry, I need to look it up. It's a clear body, black ink, and it also has a 0 0.5 millimeter tip. This one is a conical tip. And it also has a gel ink. So these are these are both gel tip pen or gel ink pens, excuse me. All right. So I think these look gorgeous together. And then uh, I included this. It's another Bescu gel pen, which you guys have been loving. And so it's in olive green. Let me show you how it writes. This is a Bescu gel pen. It's olive green. And I just think it's incredible. The body matches the ink color perfectly. I'm going to show you uh, when I pull it closer, you'll be able to see the color a little better. But there's the it's a gel ink in olive green. Super pretty and it will match uh, the others from this collection, if you happen to have the ones from our previous months. Hello. And then the last one that I am including is the, the Pilot High Tech C Pen, which I think is an underrated classic. So I wanted to include this. It's imported uh, from Japan. And this will also come in a couple different colors. This is the green one. And this has, this tip is just like, something else it's a very fine very fine tip look at that gorgeous I'm a huge fan of pilot pens um, I believe this is a 0.4 millimeter pen it's a gel pen okay so you can tell that it is a nice bright green super fine tip writes really nicely this is the collection that's coming in December. You can still subscribe. It comes until December. You can subscribe until December 13th at 10 a.m., um, at which point I will be packing and shipping these. Um, but this is the collection. Notice I didn't write on the sticky note with um, any of the other pens because with the transparent sticky notes, you want to use a permanent ink like the Unipin pen or a ballpoint pen. And that's because, that's because the ballpoint pen has a really fast drying, high viscosity, like oil-based ink. So it will stick to the paper, it won't run, and it will dry really quickly. Gel pens are just uh, not gonna work. I think you can let them dry for a while, but in terms of like just being able to write on it like any other piece of paper, um, I wouldn't recommend them. Uh, so I'll just double, I'll go through the, so that was the, um, goodness. Okay, so that's the December uh, pens, pencils, and more collection. I think, um, I think they look really good together, all these pens. And then this is the pen box. Yes, all of these will come if you order the pen box. And it's $19 if you just do month to month. You can get a discount if you add it to your box it's only like ten dollars to add it to your planner box and if you um like if you like select a longer term then it's also a little bit you can save a little bit of money oh my gosh i just bent it what the heck okay so this is um i'm kind of on the struggle bus this morning sorry this is the dashboard that's going to come in the planner box one of them and then this is the other one right here so this is printed on our vellum you can see it's a really really nice vellum like this is not uh, flimsy it is not thin you can see I accidentally bent it and it is like committed to that <laughs> it does not want to go back but it's a really like really nice and thick paper so I really think that you'll love it. It'll last you for a long time. Um, okay. And then we also are gonna include these rose quartz, transparent sticky notes that they have in two sizes. I'm gonna 
include both sizes in everyone's box so you'll get both of these as well and honestly like I cannot believe the the way that these turned out I'm so excited about them so if you get both boxes then you'll get all of these goodies um, send me any questions that you have and subscribe before December 13th 10 a.m. Mountain Time because that's when I'm gonna print and all the packing slips and start getting everything packed so I appreciate everyone joining and I look forward to all your messages bye